Hey there, so in today's video I will show you how to add H-alpha to your DSLR exposures in two different ways. In the first example we are going to add H-alpha to the red channel and in the next one I'm going to show you how to add it directly to luminosity and you get a very different result from each of those techniques. So without wasting more of your time let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I got both of my stacked images uh, already imported in Photoshop and uh, this is my color data and uh, all I've basically done is to correct the white balance so you can see the before and after here and here I got my H-alpha image and the first thing that I always like to do is to stretch it so let's just go to the channels select the red channel go to image adjustment and levels and all I basically want to do here is to increase the contrast so I'm going to move the black and the white point uh, closer together so let me do this quickly about here is fine now the white point here just make sure that you don't clip your highlights so I'm going to leave it somewhere here I think that this is fine so hit OK now let's go back to our color image Go to levels, here I'm just going to flatten it out. Now let's go to channels, select the red channel, hit Ctrl and A to select all, Ctrl C to copy it, Ctrl and N to make a new document, hit create, Ctrl V to paste it. Now let's go to our H alpha, select the red channel, Again, Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy it, go back to our new document, Ctrl V to paste it in. Now let's go to levels and decrease the opacity a bit, so let's say 50%. Now here you will have to align the image manually, uh, just make sure that you didn't crop or resize your color data. And with that set, let's hit Ctrl and T. And make sure you take your time with this. Okay, so I think that this works. Let's hit OK. Now at this point we can get rid of this layer. Let's set the opacity back to 100. Now let's hit Ctrl and A again to select all. Ctrl C to copy it again. Go back to our color data. Go to channels. Select the red channel. Ctrl and V to paste it in. Let's enable RGB, let's go to layers, and this is basically what you get. And from here you can do your normal processing, so now would be the best time to correct your levels, and you could basically crop your image. But I'm not going to do that because I want to show you the other technique. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And here I got my normal color data again. And for the next technique we have to go to image, mode, and here you can see lab color. So hit that. Now let's go to channels and here you can see the lightness layer. Now let's go back to our aligned H alpha image and we got already selected so just control and C or you can also go here edit and copy. Now let's go back to our color, select the lightness layer and just control V to paste it in. And now if I enable the rest of the layers, hit control V to deselect. And here you can see I got some pretty funky colors uh, and that's because I didn't uh, correct the white balance uh, and the levels. But basically this is the image you can work on but before we have to go to image mode and back to the RGB color. So hit that. Now you can do your normal processing. So like I said if you have your white balance uh, better corrected than uh, I have here uh, you'll get uh, more natural colors. But yeah, this is basically it for this part. The next part of the processing series will be again on Sunday. And uh, let me remind you, if you got a specific thing uh, you want me to cover in uh, one of the future videos, uh, just uh, let me know. And if you made it this far into the video and you think that I've earned your subscription, I would invite you to hit the subscribe button. It would uh, really mean a lot to me. But okay, I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.